Tottenham 2, Southampton 3. That was absolutely pathetic. Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, this is my match reaction to last night's absolutely pathetic 3-2 defeat to Southampton. And, oh my god, I, I just can't believe we lost. It's like, we are afraid to go near the top four. And because Wolves are playing tonight, if Wolves beat Arsenal, they go above us. And that means we are seventh. 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 We just could have won, there will be one point behind West Ham. And then we wouldn't really care about the Wolves game. Um, the Leicester game, but now we have to because that performance last night was shit. It was absolutely shit. Emerson Royal is I. What happened? I that was the worst performance I've seen of you all season, lad. You were absolutely shocking last night. You got the ball. You're going to hoop it up first time. But no, no, no. You have to take a touch. Never take a touch. If you've got a man there, I don't care if it's on your left foot, your right foot, whatever foot you are, you've just got to hoof it. But no, wh why did you take a touch? You've got to go and hoof it. But also, also Harry Winks. Harry Winks. I never want to see him play on a football pitch again. Every time he plays, he has to... Literally, we were on the attack, and literally, our, it went from our attack all the way back to the race. Literally, Harry Winks just doesn't pass forward. He's reading the rules from the 1800s, where you can only pass backwards. Is he an 1800 football merchant or something? Literally, every time Winks gets the ball, he passes it backwards. It's just annoying. And if we want to score goals, we need to get the ball up the pitch. But to be fair, you know, we scored the first goal from Romero, so that was offside. But obviously, Sonny scored. Good. Well, it was an own goal, but then, but then they scored from Broya. I can't barely remember, but literally, Southampton, they had all the possession, all the shots, all the. This had everything. They even got absolutely battered. Literally, at half time, it could have been like 5 1 to Southampton. We were playing that bad. We were playing that bad. We got battered by a mid-table mid table merchant team, Southampton. Southampton are a mid-table side. And we're getting battered by a team that finished mid-table every season. Every season. And it's absolutely embarrassing. We c if also, right, I'm just going to change the topic. I'm going to speak about Daniel Levy. Because I posted on my Tottenham News account on Instagram yesterday... Levy out, and I am Levy out. Okay, we signed Benton Kerr and Kuliseski. Okay, that's good. But we need, we we need, a, we need a right wing back. We need a right wing back. We need a midfielder, and we need a striker. And we could probably need a goalkeeper as well, because Larice could be leaving in like twenty twenty five or something. I'm like, literally, like. <clears throat> Well, to be fair, Papa Matasar is coming, but I don't even know how old he is. To be fair, I don't know. I don't even know how old he is. To be fair, but literally, when he comes, please, please play him because our midfield, literally, our midfield is always Emerson, Hoiberg, Winks, or Skip, Winks or Winks or Skip, Regulon. We literally have three outfield players, well, not outfield, three attacking players. Three, and they are Mora, Kane and Son. We are too defensive. We are too defensive. And I think, yeah, what what we need to do, we need to play Bentinka and Hoiberg. So we get a midfielder who can get the ball, like Bentinka, because when he came on last night, he got the ball and got it up to, like, Son or someone or Emerson or Mora, I can't remember who too. That's what, that's what he did the same thing against Brighton. Bentinka, Antonio Conte, play Bentinka against Wolves. 
playing. I think we need to play Benton. Oh God, we need to play Bentinka and Hoiberg, a midfielder who can push up and another midfielder who can help with defence. That's what we need to do. And also, yeah, we just need a right wing back. We bought up the chance of the Dharma Troy away. We need a right wing back. Because what happens if Emerson gets injured? What happens? What do we do then? Exactly. Nothing. We need, in the summer transfer window, buy a right wing back. I don't give a crap who it is. Just buy a right wing back. Daniel Levy, Paratici. Buy a right wing back. Buy a midfielder. Buy a striker. If you want Tottenham to get into the Champions League, which we probably won't this season, because we've got to be beating these mid-table teams. Which we we'll probably get like Europa League, but OK, I'll take Europa League, to be fair. It's an alright tournament. But still, buy players in the summer, please. I beg. Anyway, I'll see you next video.